because I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're going back like that. They're not coming forward. I don't want that. I want my back, honey, back. That's how you want your curls to go. So you can see all of my curls are going like that, which I really, really enjoy. Hey, y'all, what's up? And welcome back to another video of As Always Aaliyah, where we always keep it real. Now, y'all, we are trying something new today, and I have with me wire mesh rollers. Yes, y'all, we will be trying a new hair tool today. I have personally never tried it before, so I'm really excited to be breaking these bad boys open on camera for you guys. These are the wire mesh rollers, and I got these off the Annie Ink website. So here's how they look. They are brand new, y'all. I have never used these. I've never taken them out the packaging. I actually looked back in my email to see when I purchased these. I purchased these back in August, friend, and I just never got around to it. So I did get a set of three. I have two more in here that I'm gonna be pulling out. I honestly didn't know how how many I would need they come 12 to a pack so 12 times 3 is what 36 so I have 36 rollers in total hopefully that is enough for my entire head but we should definitely see I do want to break these out so you guys can get a closer look at them but before I do let me tell you more about the products and tools that we're going to be using to complete this hairstyle okay so before we get into the rollers I am going to also be using this Annie brush this is the detangling brush I've used it once before I actually really enjoyed it so I am going to be breaking this out and Again, I will have this link below. It is dirt cheap if you can find it at a beauty supply store. If you do purchase it online like I did, you will have to pay an additional fee for shipping. So try to avoid that and call around to see if you can find it in store so you just don't have to pay the extra $6.99 like I did. But I do like this brush and this will be what we're using today to help detangle and get the product through our hair. I also do have here with me just a regular rat tail comb that we'll be using just in case I need to focus a little bit more on my parting, which we will be. And and also, this is the product that we'll be using today. You guys know if you are an OG on my channel, I love mousse and foam. And today we will be using the Crazy Sexy Curl. This is the Supercharged Honey All-in-One Setting Foam by The Dough or the do. I don't know. I think it's the do. You guys can see I don't have much left. So you know your girl had y'all <laughs> what is this <laughs> so i don't have much left so you know your girl had to go in and re-up i stocked up on a brand new one y'all i ordered it offline got it through curbside pickup with walmart something that i love i wish they were doing that since i was a kid like where was y'all when i was a kid okay with this curbside pickup and these delivering groceries right to your house like this is something that is so new to us and if you guys don't realize like we definitely are like in a new world and in a new generation it's happening right in front of our eyes not to get off track okay rewind bring it back here's the product <laughs> so I hear a lot of good things about the dough and here it is right here that I think this is the only product that I actually tried from them so I am gonna go out and try some more products because every product I have seen online people are speaking so highly about so these products are well this product is what we're gonna be using to complete the hairstyle but let's go ahead and break out these rollers so you guys can take a closer look alrighty my friends let's go ahead and get into these the wire mesh rollers now I do like these because I think they're gonna have a quick drying time I just wanted to purchase them because I like roller sets and y'all know on my channel we do a whole bunch of roller sets because you can get a really beautiful curl without using any heat and I'm all for that so I'm just gonna open these up y'all I ripped this one all up <laughs> not yet friend I ripped it all up all right so let's go ahead and break them up let's pull one out so you guys can take a closer look at what we will be installing in our hair today do you guys see all the holes in the gaps honey the drying time is going to be superb omg why did i just drop it um let's see if the oh look they like are really springy but i don't think you're supposed to do that i think you're just supposed to keep them straight but they have like a, a spring in there that is so interesting i've never i've never tried these before so i mean i'm sure they're going to be just like any other roller and also to secure them in our head we're just going to be using bobby pins and i'm going to show you exactly how i'm going to complete today's style i'm so excited and so nervous because anytime i use a new product i just don't know so we're going to go ahead and get started right now let me go ahead and set up shop we're gonna take our hair down and get started all right so let me go ahead and take off my towel all right i'm taking off my towel y'all i absolutely love this towel this towel is from bomba curls 
if you guys can see it has the mic microfiber on the inside and it's like a silk on the outside and it's huge too like I have more than enough space for my hair it's probably too big so I use this often and I absolutely love it. it's one of my faves and here's my hair freshly washed out the shower y'all I always start my hairstyles on clean hair just so I can kind of like wear them throughout the week which is pretty cool so here's my hair smelling good <laughs> looking good <laughs> okay y'all so let's go ahead and get started the first thing i want to do is part my head now for when i do roller sets like these i always start in the middle and like work my way back and then i tackle the sides i like to do that because when i take them out i get this really nice like swoop bank effect and it is so pretty like oh child just wait to the end of the video i know these curls are going to be bomb so like i said what i'm going to do is start right here in the middle and i'm going to be using the roller to help measure where i should be parting out on my head simply by just putting it right here in the middle and that's when I know I'm going to part back on this side and I'm also going to part back on this side right here so let me go ahead and do that like I said just using the roller to measure where I should be parting at and I also have to use the, the mirror as well y'all so excuse me if I'm not looking at you I'm going to create a nice clean part right in the middle all right y'all so here is my part right here and again we'll just be working in this section and going back so what I want to do is I have it going all the way back as you can see and we're also going to do the same thing to this side any sections we are not using you want to always keep it in a nice little bantu knot or a bun so all that moisture will stay within the knot all right y'all look at us okay so here's our first section of hair right here and we are just about ready to get started the next thing you want to do is again use the roller to see how far we should be measuring back so all i'm going to do is just place it on top of that section right here and and now I know to measure right here behind it and that's how I know how much to measure back see that just like that and it doesn't have to be perfect because at the end of the day the parts are not going to show but if you want to get it perfect go for it be my guest so I think that's a good section right there I'm just like praying that I have enough like 36 should definitely be enough but here's our first section so all of this whatever so all of this is actually going to go up again into a bantu knot because I just don't want anything drying out so again anything we're not using we're going to twist it up and out the way and use a clip to secure it to our head um this also helps us stay organized as well so we're just focusing on one section at a time which is right here in the front y'all are you ready to get started i'm so 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 excited so let's go ahead and begin step one is we're going to go ahead and apply the product as you can see i don't have none left friends so that's why i purchased another one but we'll start here and once i run out we'll switch over now i do just want to start with one pump because my sections aren't really that big and we'll just see after uh one pump where we where it gets us it's a little bit nah it's a little thick it's a little thick friend all right so let me go ahead and just apply it yes omg all right so now that that oh and it smells good i smell the honey it smells really good so now i'm just going to go on my anti detangling brush and go ahead and start to detangle that um tangle, detangle your hair all right cool beans and you can see my hair is already starting to curl which is really nice that's what the foam is all about honey all right so now what we're going to do y'all we're going to apply the mesh the wire mesh roller so what i want to do is get this straight out in front of you guys so i I'm going to be pointing it towards my camera my hair and then i'm going to go ahead and take my roller and i'm going to place it on top so i want to get my ends smooth onto the roller before we start to work our way up the hair and all i'm doing is working up and as you can see there's orange left on both sides because we measured we do not want the hair spilling over if the hair starts to spill over or come over the roller it's going to be frizzy you want everything nice and slick and that is why we measured just how we did you guys see how i did that nice and slick all right so now i'm just going to go ahead and take me a bobby pin which is right here and we're going to go ahead and secure both sides of the roller to our head and take this one as well and we're going to secure it on this end it's slippery y'all everything is slippery my hands are slippery my hair is slippery but we're going to take that bobby bobby pin and make sure it's secure onto our head all right and as you can see 
I can move my hair around because I stuck the bobby pins on both sides it's not really going to move that's on there bobby pins on there and the first one is in all right so the next step is we're just going to continue to go straight back I took the clip off because I need to get my next section prepared and take another one out this bag and I'm going to place it right on top of my head and that's how I know how far to go back just right where that roller stops that's where I want to part at all right and here's my next section and as i continue to go back i'm not going to be able to really see so it's definitely going to be like a feel type of thing but in the front i can see what i'm doing i have a mirror right here that i'm looking at so we're all good to go all right so i have my next section ready to rock and roll we're just going to go back in with our styling product one pump is normally enough for me and i'm just going to take it and start to drag it down the hair being very careful of course make Making sure those ends are all saturated with product and this really is enough y'all I don't want to oversaturate all right so I'm starting at the ends with my detangling brush just gonna brush it through and work my way all the way up ends curly curly that's what I like to see all right so I have my next one ready to go product is already in the hair and it is detangled so what I'm going to do is just stick it straight on out taking the wire mesh roller and placing it on top of my hair I'm going to try my best to smooth my hair onto the roller and then I'm going to go ahead and just start to travel up keeping everything in the middle as straight as possible and that's it y'all it's on there well it's not on there yet we still got a bobby pen but it's in the middle and I love that you can see orange on both sides that means nothing is spilling over because we measured so I'm just going to take that bobby pin and secure it to my head now I can let go and do the same thing to the other side my hands are slippery so please bear with me y'all all right so I'm going to go ahead and secure that other side making sure that the bobby pin is in there and that is it y'all we are nice and snug and we got two in so far so let's go ahead and keep going all right so next up is the product I think that is enough and we're just gonna go ahead and just apply all over our section sticking it straight on up and I love how this product travels and even if it doesn't you can use the detangling brush to kind of get it to come all the way down okay so I'm gonna do is just take it make sure it's straight out just like that and we'll do it to the side this time I'm gonna place it on top and I'm gonna go ahead and smooth those ends onto the roller and then I'm going to start to travel up, making sure everything is smooth and in the middle. It does help when you look at a mirror. So that's what I'm going to do. Everything is straight. You see that there's orange on both sides, which is great. And that is how we are looking, my friends. We're going to go ahead and take our bobby pins and secure it. As you continue to go back, you will have less visibility and you're going to need to just feel um, as you're parting, which is okay. I probably am going to do like four or five more and then we'll start to tackle the sides. We are in there and we are looking and feeling good. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. All right, y'all, so I am all finished with the middle. As you can see, we are giving frohawk or mohawk or curlhawk, whatever you wanna call it. This is how we are looking, friends. As I got to like this and down, I couldn't see, so I just had to kind of feel, but I think I did a pretty good job. Now what I'm gonna do is start on this side. I'm just gonna take this down, and what I wanna do, I'm debating if I wanna split it in half. So I can kind of just work with a small section in the back and a small section in the front. Twisting that up and out the way. I really like to work in small sections. It just makes my life a whole lot easier. So we'll just work on that in a second. Now I have this back half. I'm going to take a nice size chunk. All right, so that's going to be our first section right there. I'm running severely low on product, but we're doing okay. Just going to take about one pump of product and we're going to go ahead and apply that to the back section of our head. It smells so good. All right, y'all. So now that that product is in there, now we get to go ahead and start to detangle with our anti detangling brush. And this just helps distribute the product evenly and get out all the knots. Oh. 
All right, so now that that product is in there, you can see I'm still on my first bag. We're about three left. So all I'm gonna do now, again, the same thing that I've been doing is just get it straight on out. Make sure those ends are nice and smooth. And we're gonna start to roll. And then anything that's not kind of attached, it's okay. On top, just like that. Taking a bobby pen and securing it. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And it's really a feel game from here, y'all, but I've been doing this for some years, so I definitely can feel where the bobby pins are supposed to go to make them nice and secure. You know it's secure because it cannot come loose. Again, shaking my head, everything is okay. So go ahead and work on that next section of hair. All right, so all I'm gonna do is take the product. Here is how much we have left, y'all. We are down to the nitty gritty. But like I said, no worries because we have a full brand new bottle that we can use. Just going to go ahead and apply the product to the section, making sure we are saturated. And this product really does, you can drag it from the root all the way down to the end with no problem. And then detangling just makes it spread so much better. All right, so we're down to our last two. We're still in the first pack, y'all. We're about to open our second pack in a second. All right, so keeping everything nice and straight. Look at those ends, friend. Got some curls. All right, placing this on top. Go ahead and work those ends onto the roller. You'll see that, right? And now I'm going to be focused right in the middle as we roll up. All right, hopefully that is good to go. All right, you probably really only need one, but I wanna make sure it's super secure, so I always do both sides. Popping it in. We're just using the bobby pen to connect the hair to like the scalp, so everything stays in place. And let's keep going. Hey y'all, all right, so that took a lot out of me. I am actually finished now. Some of them were a little bit difficult as you continue to apply the rollers. It's hard to like a bobby pin them. So I'm just like securing everything, making sure everything's nice and sturdy. As you can see, I'm still shaking my head. Nothing is coming loose, which is great. So this is how we looking y'all. We got some rollers in our head. So I only have one more side to go. I am gonna go ahead and just do this off camera really quickly. Uh, so I don't bore you guys to death, like I always say, and I will be back. As you can see, these ones are already starting to get dry, and these ones just got installed, so they're going to take a second, but, and um, I will be back as soon as I'm done. All right, y'all, if you are learning how to do these mesh rollers, I am down. I use one bag, and then I only have four left in this bag, and then we have one entire bag that is unopened so far. So, I again, I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, but if you are interested in this type of content, my name is Aaliyah. All I do is heat-free rods and rollers that's on my channel. I do not use direct heat on my hair. Maybe once, like every six months or once a year, I will put heat on my hair. I, I do have a video on that, so I'll link it up here if you guys do want to see how my hair looks straight with direct heat. But 99% of the time, you will see me doing rods and roller sets to mimic a curly hairstyle. So. Hey, friends. All right, so I am back, and my hair is finally done. This is how we are looking, y'all. All in there. Oh, man, I wonder how I'm going to sleep tonight because I'm definitely going to go to bed in these roller sets i'm tired i think it's like past 11 o'clock now hopefully it's not y'all yeah it's 11 01 y'all so i'm tired i'm about to go to bed hopefully you guys picked up the technique i was doing now i do sit under a hooded dryer but i have a cool setting on my dryer so i just use that sometimes you can use a warm setting as well i try not to use no heat whatsoever but i know people get confused when they see me sitting under a dryer yes i do have a cool setting so i sit under there and just let it air dry and i really hope that it it comes out nice I'm nervous I've never used these before so I don't know how they'll come out but I've used stuff similar to it so I'm confident that we're gonna have a nice curly hairstyle and I will see you guys in the morning when I take these out and thank you guys so much for continuing to stick in there with me and watching my videos I really do appreciate it all right guys Aaliyah is out of here I will see you when they're dry tomorrow hey y'all I am back it is a new day your girl feels nice and refreshed I did go ahead and sleep in this style 
hence the bonnet. By the way, this is my Curl Days bonnet that I was sleeping in. It does have an adjustable strap. I don't know if you guys can see it right here. So I can literally just make it tight or as loose as I need it to be. And that's why I really like it. So I'll have this link down below as well. I am a Curl Days ambassador. And I slept really well in this hairstyle. Well, I slept good in the bonnet. I didn't sleep good in the hairstyle. <laughs> I did twist and turn. As you can see here is how we're looking. So I did twist and turn a little bit. These are wire mesh rollers. So it's like, eh. Um, I just had to keep finding a comfortable spot to kind of like doze off in, which was okay. The part that was hard for me was the, the bobby pins that I had to sleep in. Oh my goodness. I found myself waking up in like the middle of the night and like taking some of the bobby pins out because I could just like feel it as I was trying to go to sleep and it was really uncomfortable. So I took probably like three or four bobby pins out and that was it and then I just went right back to sleep after that but now I am ready to take them out so two things I did not need to open the other brand new mousse that I had from the dough I used just that little bit that I had left and that actually was enough also these are the rollers I have left I have seven wire mesh rollers left so that means I have like what there's 36 total I have seven left so there's 29 of them in my head right now my math is correct and I'm ready to take them down comment below if you guys think this is going to be a cute hairstyle if you think this is going to be a win a fail what do you think is going to happen as i start to take these out but i'm going to show you guys step by step how i do them right now cool all right so first things first you are going to need a sheen bag because these are brand new and came in these plastic bags these are just not going to work for me i like my sheen or fashion nova ziploc bags i have a ton of these around the house or if you just have like a regular gallon bag too like this thing is huge y'all so this is what i will be using to store all all of my hair tools in as I continue to take them out of my head so they're just not all over the place that's how I used to do them I would take them out and I would just throw them and my room will become really messy so now I have it embedded into my system that I need to put them in the sheen bag when I take them out of my hair another thing I am going to start in the back and work my way to the front so yeah fingers crossed y'all this is my first time trying these wire mesh rollers I do think the style is going to be successful oh I did sit under a hooded dryer this morning for roughly an hour as well so hopefully that helped mold and dry my curls and we are going to see how they turned out right now all right y'all without further ado let's go ahead and get started in the back i'm going to show you guys how to take these down right, so i did scoot up hopefully you guys can see this back one right here this is where we're going to start you have to feel for the bobby pin i can see it right here and then i'm also looking in the mirror it's a little bit hard for me because i have on nails so just bear with me as i try to pull these out okay i got that bobby pin out all right so step one just take your bobby pins out and now as you unravel it you want to unravel to make a curl just like that so we've made a curl look at that y'all pretty Ooh, ah. all right and like i said this goes right into a my sheen bag and i'm actually going to go ahead and separate this just a little bit because I don't want to go back in separating. I like to separate as I go. It really is personal preference, but that is the first one right there. Cool. All right, so now I'm going to go in and take out this back one too. Child, the hardest part is definitely the bobby pins, and that's only because I have one nails. Really, really, really have to feel for these bobby pins, y'all. <laughs> All right, and then again, I'm just going to roll down. Oh gosh, right, that one messed up a little bit, but it's okay because I took it out and there it is. Okay, cool. There's that one. So we have the back out and I'm already feeling more lightweight already. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to work on this one right here next. Again, feeling for those bobby pins. Okay, here's one of them. Some of them only have one, which is okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this on down. I'm going to put this into my sheen bag. Alrighty. And then I'm just going to go ahead and take that curl and start to separate where it naturally wants to separate at. That's where I'm kind of just pulling it. And then I'm letting it go back into its original curl. So we got some curls back there, y'all. We got some curls. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and take that middle one out because we want to work back to front with this hairstyle. The hardest part is definitely trying to get the bobby pins out and these nails are not helping at all but i do like that my hair is 100 dry and we have some curls we get in some bounce okay 
I'm here for it. Alright, so let me go ahead and take this one down right here. These bobby pins are not on my side, y'all. So, this down. I just have to unravel it like that because some of them got a little messed up. But that's okay. The curls are still popping. And as you can see, I'm just separating as I go. Mmm, y'all. These wire mesh rollers, they did their thing. I'm actually really happy um, so far. All right, friends, so this side is just about taken out. I just have one more to go, and whoa, whoa. These curls are fire, y'all. The best, oh my gosh. They're so cute, and they're like a little bit hard to the touch because if you ever use the dough, it leaves like, I guess a cast, I wanna say. It's like a gel, but it's a really a foam or a mousse. Man, so I know these curls are gonna last me quite a while, and I'm going to go ahead and take out this one. And this is the reason why I was putting them on top. Is because I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're going back like that. They're not coming forward. I don't want that. I want my back, honey. Back. That's how you want your curls to go. So you can see all of my curls are going like that, which I really, really enjoy. So let me go ahead and take out this top one right here. Pop it out the bobby pin. As I continue to take out the rollers, it's easier for me to take out the bobby pins. I just have to kind of like go under and fill for it and push it out. But yeah, let's see what we are working with. Whoa! Look at that! There she goes! Alright, so here is the curl. We're just gonna separate her a little bit more. Yes, honey. Ooh, chat. Ooh, don't play with her. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. Yes! Ooh, I'm so here for it, y'all. Look, it feels so good and pretty. Wow, I am just so highly impressed right now with my hair. Like, it took me a long time to be able to do hairstyles like these because I came from damaged hair and brittle hair and dead ends and I didn't know how to properly care for my hair but once I learned how to do these heat free styles with rods and rollers knowing that I don't need to use heat to get these curls like what man I look like I just got out of a salon guys I feel and look so beautiful like wow this really is a head full of hair so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna take down the other side off camera really quickly and then I will come back to show you guys how this hairstyle turned out but if you guess that this hairstyle was gonna be bomb I think you're right friend I'll be right back hey friends do you see anything you like OMG y'all once again as always Aaliyah has done it with the heat free rods and rollers y'all y'all is the bounce for me it really is like y'all do y'all see how it's going back like that is exactly what I wanted that's why I placed the roller on top and rolled it up how I did because now my hair is going like this and I'm so happy with the results so like I said if you guys comment commented below and thought this was going to be a win then you guys correctly congratulations because my hair is 100% dry the curls are super shiny I am so happy that I used the dough this is how much I have left I didn't even break out the new one like I said this is empty so I'll probably get like like one or two more squirts before I have to use uh, my new one but man it was this that did it y'all if you guys have not tried the dough before or the do then I would definitely recommend you guys go out and check her out I think I've only tried this product but I definitely will be trying more because she does it every single time with my hair the curls were popping the mesh rollers were fun I got to use these for the first time they weren't like the best to sleep in because they are wiry like, I don't even know who invented this, but uh, it worked. It worked. So, you can see that's how it looks. That's it, y'all. These are the results. <laughs>
I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and learned from start to finish how to use the wire mesh rollers. I'm so happy that I actually got my hands on these and tried them out for the first time. I definitely do think this, is, this was a success. If you are somebody who wants to take your hairstyles to the next level by using rods and rollers and heat-free hairstyles, then definitely subscribe to my page. That is all I talk about on here. And I love helping the natural hair community, just educating them in healthy hair growth practices. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure you guys give me a follow and please stay tuned for some of the next videos around because we have more hairstyles to come guys thank you again so much for supporting me and following my channel my name is Aaliyah this is as always Aaliyah where we always keep it real I'll catch y'all in the next one deuces